Kaido's forces tried to secure this facility ahead of us, but they weren't able to make it past the towers. Keep out of sight. When the war mind is fully restored, we'll need this location to access the orbital station and its Warsat network. I know. One step at a time. at the bunker entrance. No idea what internal defenses are like. Stay alert. Look at the state of this facility. It's an absolute travesty. Established level one security clearance. Opening the door for you, Dad. Power situation down here is pretty bleak. Our enemies are harvesting arc energy from the reactor. We'll need to restore power to the inner doors to press forward. really is in rough shape, isn't it? You should be able to reboot the main reactor up ahead. I think the facility will hold together. You think?
console should be activated now. It will allow you to restart the facility's auxiliary reactor. Auxiliary reactor is online and the station is powered up. Gonna make it look like we were trying to find some information in the digital archives here. I've taken the liberty of preparing a power reroute switch for the launch authorization system. Though, it appears Rasputin has changed the launch codes. I'm locked out. We'll hit that next time. Keep the baddies guessing until we're ready to make our move. Good work, Guardian. Let's get you out of here before reinforcements arrive. Two submine cores in the bag, and launch pod scouted. So, we're making progress. Ikora officially wants us wrangling the situation. She'd like Osiris in a hands-off role, but he's watching Clovis like a judgmental hawk. It's kind of adorable, actually, and I'm here for it. We got lucky, touching down on Europa when we did. Rasputin could have predicted this, maybe even prevented it. If Zivu Aroth acts on the witness's orders and uses the Warset network against us, it doesn't even need full power to cause an extinction level event. <sighs> We're making progress. Just keep saying it, Anna. Repeat it until it is real. You too, Guardian. We're gonna manifest this together. Of course, Rasputin changed the launch codes. That blasted, paranoid machine. I never understood Anastasia's obsession with teaching the war mind independent thought. That only made it more difficult to control. No matter. I will find the new launch codes eventually. But the station will prove useless if we do not rebuild Rasputin first. Even with the Malahayati submine reintegrated into its AI core, your mind is incomplete. We must find another source of data. I will put my mind to the task. In the meantime, continue retrieving submine data from the vaults that we know remain intact. And do try to minimize the damage to the surrounding equipment. It is still Braytech property, after all. Working late. Aren't you? Zane wants to know if you'd like some tea, coffee, whatever it is you drink. That's not full of them. I used to say the same thing. How thoughtful. Thank you, Saint. 
except I never looked up. Not once. My eyes were on my fingers stained with ink. The smudges on the margins of my work. I cared more about my findings than the tea pulling beside me. Or the feelings of the man who made it. Mm. <laughs> You're not listening. I am listening. Then listen well. Your work will outlive you. The people around you might not. One day you're going to wake up, assuming you've even slept at all, and realize that the world is a very different place than the last time you remembered to look at it. You will abruptly, viscerally regret the absence of something as small as a single cup of tea. So I ask you again, what would you like to drink? Oolong. With a spot of honey. A spot of honey? Why am I not surprised? 